Today I want to talk a little bit about my parents' relationship. They had a tumultuous one. Um, they fought a lot, and throughout my childhood, I remember them fighting. Um, and it affected me. I, I think I took sides. And at the time, you know, because my mom was the, the more emotional, dramatic one, and my dad was more logical, I sort of took dad's side. And, and I think, yeah, dad's right. He, he, um, he's more together about his argument. Of course, now that I'm older, I think I'm more of the emotional one when I, when I start a fight or when there is an argument between me and my husband. Um, but the thing is, I think that the fighting in, in some way is what bonded them together. And they would fight about big things and little things. You know, most of them were pretty petty. Um, but somehow, they stayed together. Although, I did remember my dad telling us when we were kids that he planned to go back to Thailand when we grew up. And, you know, that we would be the one taking care of mom while he goes back and become a monk because that was his his dream his ultimate goal was to become a monk and meditate all the time and um, and i think he would have done it if my mom hadn't got sick and had the brain tumor in the operation which left her an invalid and I think it surprised me, though, that Dad stayed, because we were old enough to take care of her. But he felt, he felt devoted to her. And, and in some way, I think he felt that, he, that she needed him. And so he stayed, and he took really good care of her. You know, he would um, bathe her, and and fed her, and he would even change the diapers, and he would calm her down when she gets irritated, and he took her to the doctors, and um, rolled her around the neighborhood in the wheelchair, and I think it was a really beautiful, beautiful testament to their relationship, and I think even after he had cancer and he was in the hospital, he would call and leave a message. And I remember a particular, a particular phone message that he left for mom um, that was very memorable to me. He would say, don't worry, I'm okay and I'll see you soon. And I think we would play that message for mom to hear while he was in the hospital and even after he died because she had short-term memory loss. Sometimes she would forget that he died and we would have to remind her, which is pretty painful to have to relive that over and over again. And so sometimes as a way to say, sidestep that we just let her listen to his message and let her believe that he was in a hospital and he would be back soon but that message um, that message touched me and reminded me of this song by Danny Hathaway called A Song For You at least a part of that song really spoke to me and always made me think of Dad's phone message. It goes like this. I love you in a place where there's no space or time. For your 
friend of mine. When my life is over, remember that we were together. And we were alone. And I sang this song to you. We were alone. And I sang this song for you. Anyway, that's how I think of it. And you know, even now, when I hear that song, it really reminds me of how devoted Dad was to Mom, and that I had been wrong about the fact that they didn't love each other because they were fighting, because even while they were fighting, even all of it, the entire time, they loved each other, and it's beautiful to see.